Hey, I'm a little sick today, so you're going to have to work with me, okay? So what's good with y'all out there? You know who I am. I am your girl, Purple, and you know how I do. Before we get to the video, The Types of Drunks 3 is coming out soon, but I need you, as my viewers, I need your help. So after you finish watching this video, and of course you like this video, and you tell your friends about it, make sure that you comment down below, and make sure that you tell me the types of drunks that I have yet to recognize in my last two videos. And if you haven't seen the first two, this will be the perfect time to, okay? All right. To as the title what it says above, these are the rules in terms of drinking. Because I guess as your alcoholic advisor, which I am not, for me telling you your different types of drunks, it should be wise for me to tell you the do's and don'ts in terms of drinking. So that way I will not be liable for your drunk ass to whatever happens to you. And I'd be damned to give you a kidney when both of mine are completely almost at a failing point and I haven't even reached the age of 25. Okay? Okay. When is the right time to drink? Well, this in terms depends on whether you are alcoholic or a non-alcoholic. For my non-alcoholics, the perfect time to start drinking will be at around 9 p.m. And for my alcoholics, psh, start at 12 p.m. But for both cases, do not start in the morning because in the morning that's when you need to get your grind on, your hustle on, do whatever it is that you need to do. You know what I'm saying? So, when it comes to the point of, you know, drinking, my alcoholics, start at 12 p.m. For my non-alcoholics, Start at 9 p.m., but in both cases, for you to stop will be around 3 a.m. Next rule, where is the right time and how you should act when you're drinking? For example, a friend of mine invited me to his relative's house, and his relative had an open bar. The relative had invited me to drink anything that I wanted. Now, of course, me, I could have went buck wild and drank almost any damn thing that I wanted to. But I was poised and I just had just, you know, a cup of wine. Let's be honest. If you're at a place that you really don't know and they offer you something, you're not going to just really drink it and then you can go buck wild and act like this. Yeah! <laughs> hey, thanks, man. You know, this. This, man. It's... <laughs> it's... something really small you know wherever you out but if you're out with your homeboys and your friends you know y'all drinking pre-gaming fuck it get book wild start drinking do whatever it is the fuck that you gotta do you, you know you feel me your next rule eat food eat something okay don't just sit there and just be drinking on an empty stomach you're really just setting yourself up for fucking failure when you eat it absorbs all that liquor but of course people want to feel that so I'm going to give y'all some classified shit, some purple's classified shit in terms of what you really need to do in terms of feeling it and eating at the same time. What I do is, I kind of, you know, sip on a little something, but then once I'm feeling kind of nice, I immediately eat. I don't eat nothing too heavy and I don't eat nothing too light, but I eat something in the middle. So like, a taco, burger, you know, nothing too heavy, not like a big ass gourmet meal, but something, you know, at least to kind of absorb it. I know people who eat bread, but mm, I would suggest you eat more than just bread. You feel me? For my alcoholics, when it comes to feeling that, you can have at least maybe three shots of something. For my non-alcoholics, I would suggest that you start at maybe one and a half, at least. I would actually say one, but if you want to go all book wild, about one and a half. But make sure that you eat. Liquor before beer and you're in the clear. Beer before liquor and you'll get sicker. So let me repeat that one more time. You have liquor before you have beer, you're good. If you have beer before you have liquor, say hello to the toilet and say bye bye to your kidney. Do not iterate your date your drinks. Don't mix your dark and your lights and don't do no menage a trois, whatever the fuck it's called with your drinks. So don't mix dark light wine, dark light beer, none of that shit. Alright, so if you're going to be sipping on the Hennessy, keep it with the Hennessy. If you want to switch something else, then maybe sip some Crown Royal. If you're sipping that Patron, keep it with the Patron. But if you want something different, get that smear off my pimpin. Oh, shit. That was horrible. That's horrible. I can't do that no more. I, I'm suck at rapping. That's why I stick to singing, okay? Well, that's it in terms of all the types of rules of drinking that I have. If you feel like I missed one, again, you can comment down below after you like this video and tell your friends about it. You know, thank you to all of my viewers for watching my videos. You know, I really love you guys. Thank you so much, okay? Till then, I'm out. 
I'm your girl Purple. Love yourself before anybody else. It is your life. You are the one that controls it. I'm out. Peace. Deuces. You know. Okay. I'm out. Tee hee.